Welcome back to the City Center, guys. I am Josh, of course, and today I'm gonna go in the highs a little bit. I was actually planning to do this inspection tomorrow, but I came home and I noticed that the bees were super active on the front of the hive. Uh, they were kind of buzzing around a lot around the garage, which makes me nervous because we already had that swarm earlier this year and I do not want that to happen again. So you guys saw how active they were. I'm gonna go in there, see what's going on, see if they need another box or not. I'm hoping they don't, because I just put that other one on. Uh, well, I guess it's probably been a couple weeks, but I figured that I'd have to draw a comb out on it and fill it, and I was thinking that would take a while. So I just want to make sure we're not gonna have a swarm problem. And it literally just rained all day, so you know it's really, really hot and humid right now. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Oh, we need gloves. The doctor is in. So something I learned in the last video I made is I got some comments from you guys, which is why I do this. Because it's really good to get information from people who have been doing this a lot longer than me. Because obviously, <laughs> I am a rookie. And, uh, you know, I would say I'm a subpar beekeeper at this point in time. But they told me the key with the smoke is to just blow it in the front and the under the lid a little bit. And then give it a few minutes to kind of kick in, get the bees in there, sucking up all that uh, honey. Because what they're doing is trying to store honey because they think a forest fire is coming. So... Kind of neat, uh, somebody actually sent me a link to an article all about the uh, use of smoke. And I'm gonna link that article below. It's really interesting and I might talk about it more after reading it and learning it a little bit more myself. But I did the entrance of that and I lifted a lid and put a little smoke under there. And I just kind of give them a little minute to marinate in it and we're gonna go in there. I think when I cracked that lid, there was way more bees than I thought would be at the top. Uh, I thought the hive might have been kind of slowing down and it looks like what happened <laughs> was that the brew that was in there might have hatched and we might get you know the next round of it going already and it kind of looks like they might be expanding uh, they are definitely up in that top box which is the honey that we are gonna keep for ourselves so really pumped I'm thinking we're putting on another box today that's what it kind of looks like preliminary I obviously gotta get in there and see what it does but I gotta get some tools and I'm already sweating like crazy
I'll forgive, I'll forgive every wound caused by your hand. Pain and beauty, my friend. Pain and beauty, my friend. Oh, wow! Look at you girls go! Holy smoke! So you can see this is the outside frame there and they are already capping honey on it. So I'm probably a day or two late in actually uh, checking this. <laughs> they need more space. You can see this one's really, this is the middle frame, and this is the ones they usually fill up first, so they are definitely due for another box. I can't believe how busy they are. Uh, I just, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> uh, which makes me wonder, I gotta get down to that bottom box. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today or not. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, Cause I gotta get down to the bottom box and see if we got a queen activity. Cause I, last time I was in here, I didn't really see a sign of any kind of queen. So I wanna make sure there is a queen uh, and that we're actually having the activity. But just judging by how many bees there are in here, I think it's safe to say the queen is in there and she's been busy. Give you guys a little peek inside here. You can see capped honey on a bunch of these frames in here. So they are working, working, working away. Let's see, do we got any wiggle butts? Look like I'm gonna get stung. I see a couple. I see a couple that aren't too happy with me right now, kind of doing that wiggle of their butts, lifting their rear ends. From what I understand, that means they wanna sting you, so. And uh, I guess I can't blame them right now because it did rain earlier today, so they're probably wanting to get out and busy. Uh, and here I am just interrupting their day. But I wanted to make sure we didn't have anything too crazy going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. capping some of these so it kind of looks like they've actually moved some of that honey from this box up to the other box which tells me they might be thinking about expansion right down there no queen cell See an egg. One egg. Oh, yeah. Like some cells, though. So, guys, what kind of cell is that down there? Right there, I see a cell that's capped.
So they kind of seem like they're getting a little bit aggressive to me. Probably because I'm scraping the lid and I've been in there a little bit. See, they were after me a little bit. They've definitely settled down since I started putting those boxes, boxes back on. I am very, I mean, I can't believe how fast they filled that other box up and worked on it. So, <laughs> uh, they were struggling for a little while and it had me nervous and now it looks like they're almost doing too good. Uh, I might not be able to keep up with what they're doing. So uh, I definitely, uh, definitely gotta get in here a little more often. I just didn't think it would fill up that quick. You know, I thought this was kind of the lull, kind of waiting for those big rains to come to get a lot more blooms out here. Uh, but it looks like they just went busy no matter what. The thing I'm really worried about is having some swarm cells in there. So we will be getting back in here because I got to check that and make sure there's no swarm cells. If there are, I really need to figure out what to do with it. You know, figure it out because I don't want another swarm. I can't lose them at this point in the time. I need to have a good strong hive going into winter. Uh, if I want to overwinter them, have a good have a really good bee year next year, but I can't believe it. it looks like we might have a really good one this year. If they can fill up this top box here, that'd be two deep boxes of honey that is kind of like for us, and they have their own deep, and because their brood is just that medium box, I was thinking it would keep their size down a little bit, but they don't seem to be worrying too much about that. So maybe we'll only get one box of honey, but still, for my first year, I think that's pretty good. Yikes. Well, it kind of looks like I did make a mistake in waiting a little bit long to do this inspection. I should have got in there, I'm guessing probably, you know, almost almost a week ago maybe. They look really, really, like they've been really busy. <laughs> Which is great for us because it does mean a lot of production, but it also means that, you know, I really just got to get in there more because they are expanding quicker than I would have thought kind of like in the beginning of the year uh, I just didn't think they would fill out as fast as they did and then they did <laughs> and so oh, so we are a little late and we missed that swarm uh, I think I'm seeing what's going on this time so I'm going to get in there to the bottom box tomorrow when they're settled back down a little bit and have a little more room for them to all to kind of flow we'll have three big boxes that they can go into uh, and then we'll just have the bottom one that we'll check out to see what's going on in those frames down there. But I did see two eggs in that middle box or the second box up there. Uh, so I do know we have a queen. We did see that cell on there. I can't remember off the top of my head if that's a supersedure cell or if that's a practice cell uh, or a swarm. Now the swarm last time was on the bottom pointing down. That one was on the side pointing up. So I'm not exactly sure which one that is. I gotta do a research again. I just can't remember it all off the top of my head. Nothing quite like beekeeping in the middle of summer. 90 degree days with lots of humidity. All right guys, I gotta do a little research. I gotta call, chat with my brother, see what he thinks I should do. Maybe I can get him out here this weekend to go in the hive with me again. That would be really ideal so he can kind of show me a little bit more about what's going on. But everything looks pretty healthy. They are definitely packing in the honey, which is just great. Ah, all right, I'm going in. AC awaits. Remember guys, be bold, grow bold, and as always, I'll see you in that next video.